Hi everyone, it's Miss Jenna here. I'm back. I hope everyone enjoyed our special guest yesterday. Today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Happy Friday Eve. Um, <laughs> so that was so special. We had a special guest during circle time yesterday. Uh, well, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who didn't see yesterday. So go check that out yesterday. I watch out any of our videos from this week again because this week is eat whatever you want to eat week so i'm gonna jump right into our story we are reading if you ever read if you give a mouse a cookie then you'll know his friend moose <laughs> if you give moose a muffin oh, oh no by laura nirmaroff illustrated by felicia bond uh-oh that's not good if we know Mouse, he loves his cookies. But if we give Moose, he loves muffins more. Let's see how much more. <laughs> Again, we're gonna read. If you give a Moose a muffin, who likes muffins? I do. Do you? My favorite kind of muffin is chocolate chip. Like I mentioned, my favorite cookie is chocolate chip. So good. Also, you know what's really good too? I know they they have this at Panera. It's like a cinnamon, like French toast kind. That would be my yeah. second. I think if I had to pick a favorite between the chocolate chip and the French toast bagel, which I think it's or like it's a snickerdoodle kind of bagel, like cinnamon sugar, I would definitely have to do that. I love the spices, especially during the fall when it's warm. Muffins out of the oven, oh, the best. So, but parents, kids, comment below what kind of muffins you like. Again, we're gonna start reading our book. If you give a moose a muffin. Let's start. If you give a moose a muffin. Who wants some jam to go with it? So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another, and another, and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice if one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask for some odd, for some old socks. He'll make sock puppets. When they're done, he'll want to make, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paints. Then he'll ask you to help make the scenery. When the scenery is finished, He'll go behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it, try it on and shout, boo! It will scare him. So much will knock over the paints. So he'll use a sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. He'll go outside to put it 
on the clothesline. When he's out there, out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. The end. See, just like our friend Mouse, Moose loves his muffins. Sometimes he forgets he loves them that much. <laughs> but his, he has good friends to remind him that he loves them without a doubt. So I hope everyone has a fabulous day. Oh, excuse me. Oh, goodness. I get deepy. <laughs> well, pardon me for yawning. But I hope everyone has a great day. And I will see you tomorrow. And tomorrow is Friday. And then it's the end of our really fun week of eat whatever you want to eat week. Comment in the below too what have you been eating the week that this week that is really like funny or out there or just your favorite food alrighty everyone have a fabulous day and I will see you tomorrow